few days ago, I just found this tweet by chance that said, I installed Crisis 3 on my graphics card, which is very intriguing. So I looked into it a bit more and found that there is an app called GPU RAM Drive that lets you create a virtual drive using VRAM on your graphics card. So in this video, I will test this using my RTX 2060 and see how it's going to perform. Ready? Let's check it out. Let's start with the setup. The GPU RAM drive requires MDisk virtual driver, so I'm going to download and install it first. Then download the GPU RAM drive itself from GitHub. Setting up the virtual drive is very easy. Just type in the amount of the memory you want to allocate from the graphics card then change the drive letter if needed, and click Mount. Sadly, I don't have high-end graphics card with huge memory like RTX 3090. My RTX 2060 only have 6 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to create a drive with just 3 gigs size. The interesting part here is once we mount the drive, the GPU will always be in active state. As you can see, the GPU clock goes up. So we need to keep in mind that the power consumption will also increase when using the GPU RAM drive. The installation speed is well, fast, but didn't quite that impressive comparing to regular SSD. And after install the game, it's time for the test. I also installed the same demo on NVMe SSD as a comparison. And here's the result. As you can see, the difference of the loading time is minimal, but pretty understandable because there is also CPU task involved and not just the disk performance. I ran the game on both 1080p resolution and noticed just a very small drop in performance despite most of the memory were allocated to the virtual drive. Now let's look at the actual data transfer rate. Per crystal disk mark, my Samsung 860 SATA SSD drive can read around 500 megabytes per second while the 970 EVO M.2 NVMe is around 3500 megabytes per second. And surprisingly, the VRAM drive is actually slower than the NVMe SSD in reading speed with the transfer rate at around 2000 megabytes per second. Well, I believe the reason why VRAM drive is much slower mainly because the CPU have to access the memory through graphics card instead of directly interacting with the memory. But still, the difference is quite huge. Now let's look at the write speed. SATA SSD of course scored the last place with around 500 megabytes per second. But now VRAM drive beats the NVMe SSD with 2500 megabytes per second versus 1500. So even the CPU cannot access the VRAM directly. The extremely fast write speed of the GDDR chip can still make the drive perform better in writing speed. Using VRAM drive is a cool idea, but actually the idea of using volatile memory as a virtual storage isn't that new. People use RAM to create virtual storage for a while now using tools like RAM disk. So I'm going to create a RAM drive and compare it with our GPU RAM drive. And the result is... RAM drive totally annihilate VRAM drive, with the read speed at around 8 gigs per second and a write speed at 15 gigs per second. So even though the GPU RAM has massive bandwidth compared to RAM, but it's designed for transferring huge amount of data at the same time like texture and shading data. And also the CPU have to access the memory through the graphics card instead of doing it directly, which create considerable overhead. These are reasons why the GPU RAM drive is much slower than RAM drive. 
Now we all know that the VRAM drive isn't quite that fast as we think and even slower than the NVMe SSD in reading speed. So the question is, why? First, the SSD memory chip have a limited number of write cycle. So if you are working on a task that is IO intensive like data processing, then your SSD lifespan could be very short like couple years. So using virtual drive as a temporary storage solution is a good idea. But since using RAM is faster and a better solution, this application only serves as a proof concept. And actually, the developer of the GPU RAM drive already stated on a project page. So that's all for this video. You can find all the links to download these tools and apps in the description box below. Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.